We are having our daughter's wedding here on our property on October 1st. So I thought I would just start a little series because I'm gonna try to document as much as I can of what's going on. So I just thought I'd start off with this short little series on beginning to prepare for it. And please excuse, there is debris all in here in the pathways and they need to be cleaned up. We did have um, a nice thunderstorm come through, lots and lots of rain. So when that happens, you have some mess left behind, but we are thankful for the rain and we don't mind the debris. This is the front of my, what I call the secret garden. <laughs> when we first moved in, before we cleaned it out, it was a very um, enclosed with a lot of tree weeds and was very private. You couldn't see out to the road when you were in here. And so I called it the secret garden. Well, when we finally moved here and started cleaning it out and they were tree we weeds, it's opened up. But anyway, this is called the secret garden because it shall remain that way. So the bride, our daughter, this is where she's going to make her way out to the garden area where the nuptials will take place. So what I've started doing, I do have lanterns on the way. It's gonna be early evening, so there will be daylight. It's gonna be golden hour and it's gonna be beautiful. Um, but I've started putting out my shepherd hooks because I do have lanterns coming because this will light the way um, for people coming and going. And up here where we have the pallets, which this will all be cleaned up, <laughs> there is going to be um, royal restrooms. And basically that is restrooms on a white trailer. <laughs> but it's going, they're going to be nice. They're not porta potties, but it's going to be easier to have a hundred people go to the restroom and nice trailer instead of going in and out of our small house. So, <laughs> so she's going to be coming down this way and then there'll be lanterns, you know, when, when the sun starts going down, cause it's going to be a grand party. Um, it's going to be so great, you guys. So this is where she's going to be coming out. And she will be coming out here, and the altar is going to be in front of this gazebo. Now we had trees here, some old fruit trees that we no longer wanted, so my husband has taken them down. But now we have to get the stumps removed because she's got to come down this aisle, and we need to put chairs, and we don't need anybody tripping or walking around stumps but I have some self-seeded uh, crepe myrtles. And so we've got to get rid of those stumps as well. But he did take those out. So this will be the aisle and the altar will be here, but the gazebo and the view that way is going to be covered up with pretty white fabric and greenery. And she has a big circle arch that's gonna go here. So that's what that's going to look like. And then we have the secret garden over here. And it's going to be lit up. I have fairy lights on the way that it's going to light up um, down in the flower beds. And also some lanterns to hang from the trees. So it's going to be super pretty, you guys. I really, really can't wait to decorate. That's the fun part, right? So it's gonna be so lovely. And then the tent, let me turn around. So the reception tent, and yay, they're back there finally taking out that burnt corn. There was no good corn over there, it was all burned. <laughs> it's going to be right here. So let me give some perspective. This is where they, she'll walk down the aisle, she'll go up there, meet meet her soon-to-be husband and then they will tie the knot right here they'll turn around we'll have chairs on each side for the guests and then come back down the aisle and the opening to the wedding reception is going to be well just right past this tree but it's going to be easy for the guests to just get up from the nuptials after that concludes and just walk right to the reception so the tent is 40 feet wide and 60 feet long. So it's gonna be nice. And so they'll have, can go in and make them a drink at the bar and 
get ready for um, the catered dinner and it's gonna be really nice and we have a DJ and we're just going to just celebrate it's going to be a great party and now the tent hoping we're not having rain that day <laughs> will be open on all sides instead of having the sides put on the tent but they'll be e they'll it'll be really easy for them to exit the party dance floor tent area and walk up through the secret garden to go to the restroom or they can go over here we're going to have sitting areas they can sit out in the secret garden if they would like um, and visit it's just it's going to be really really nice I'm looking forward to it so nuptials chairs on each side reception tent okay so I know, especially me, I am very visual. So I hope for some of you, it's not that hard to see that coming together, but I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of sense of how it was all going to be laid out. So, and how it's going to come together. But yeah, it's going to be so nice. And we're going to have all this cleaned up. If anybody's new here and wondering, the, my husband's supposed to be making me a compost bin out of that fridge that no longer works, but he hasn't gotten to it yet. But we'll have this all cleaned up. It's going to look nice. There's not going to be a fridge setting right there for the wedding. It's just going to be so lovely. I can't wait. And it's so nice to see the garden coming to life a little bit with these late planted caladium bulbs I did. If you're new here, my gardens are very, very new. I really just started working on them this year. We moved in last year, bought this property and moved in last year, but by the time we moved in, I had missed prime spring planting. So I've just been kind of doing things here and there. So it's a new garden, so please be kind. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> But yeah, it just looks so pretty with the caladiums that I planted coming up over there. So at least, you know, these will be lined since people will be sitting out here. And then the Florida lease caladiums are already in here, just looking lovely. And no matter what, when you add ambient lighting to something like the little soft fairy lights or the lanterns hanging down, it just changes an area, no matter if it's bare. But I'm not completely bare, thank goodness. And these are so pretty coming up under this tree. We're excited for her and she's excited and it's just a really, really happy time. She is so happy. They are both so in love and we're just tickled pink. And you know, I just love, love. So we're excited about it. And um, I thank you for tuning in and following along this little journey, little chapter in our lives. And I hope wherever you are, you're having the most wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching and adding color to my world.